Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the flyweight bout between Jake Hadley versus Cody Durden. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going, um, I'm going Jake Hadley high confidence. I was leaning kind of average, thinking about lock, but let's go with high. High confidence, yeah, high confidence, Jake Hadley to beat Cody Durden. I definitely think Cody Durden on paper, you know, you probably could try to pinpoint and say, oh, this guy, you know, had that not nice mental fight. He has wrestling issues, grappling issues. And take down, look at his fights. I think he can take it out every single fight. Cody Durden has a clear path to victory here. Matter of fact, he might even have a stylistic advantage. But I think um, Jake Hadley has the plot armor, and I think he overall is the better fighter. And plus, on top of that, how many times has um, Hadley lost, really? Like, well, like, one time, really, in the UFC, one time? It was not similar. It was to getting taken down and controlled. And there has been fights where he has been taken down, but how many of those fights has he lost? He lost one. And was it too just a guy who just going to take you down with no real ground to pound, no real submission skills? No, it was a guy with a BJJ skill that you got to respect, you know, how you move on the ground. And also the submissions off his back won't be there as much going there with a solid um, grappler like that. But Durden, you know, he's open for the submissions. And he don't have the submissions to, you know, really keep you honest on the ground. So I feel like Hadley can, you know, work back his feet. And maybe he looks at slow, you know, give up some, you know, give up some submission that would typically be there for a guy that has a high-level grappling skills, high-level BJJ skills. And he could just look by and give up his back, stand up, probably, like I said, make a lot of mistakes and get away with, with them, you know, those little quick mistakes that you do against a guy that don't have no submission threat for you and get back up if you need it. You know, if he, I definitely feel like Hadley could push a better pace and wear down Durden. Durden has been a guy who has... You know, slowing down notably over the course of fights, like probably, you know, taking somebody down and blanketing them. In the third round or that second half of that second round and third round, you start seeing him just kind of labor and then just that, like, you know, looking desperate for that takedown so he can take you down and hold you down for the rest of the fight because he ain't got nothing left to offer you. And I feel like Hadley will make this guy work the whole fight. I feel like Durden will be able to probably maybe even win the first round. People are like, yeah, my money was smart to pick Durden and he's going to do this for three rounds. Then start to see him gassing. Live eyes probably shift. Well, but live, I'd probably be like, uh, I don't know, have Hadley at plus, with her being a minus something favorite to be like a plus two or 300 going to that second round, then I'm not going to get too much into that. But um, anyway, I feel like um, Hadley would be at us, um, take him out of the first round and, you know, make him work throughout the fight, throw him with submissions. Then I think eventually, um, my friend would say second round submission. I think first round would be like a um, Durden round for the most part, but, you know, competitive, nothing crazy with it. But again, Hadley making work through that first round, but Durden winning by being on top or getting the takedowns. In the second round, um, Hadley making him work again. Her Durden probably getting a takedown, but then Hadley been able to get back up, continue to tag him up. Then Durden go for a desperado shot, and then Hadley snaps on the submission. Or whether he gets to, actually gets the takedown, then while he's trying to you know just rest in the guard, Hadley's working off bottom, and then taps him out. Either way, I think it's a second round submission after um, Durden starts to fade and Hadley starts to really forced the initiative on him and then all Durden can do is Desperado takedown and won't have no answer to the submissions off of, of Hadley off his back or the submission response of Hadley and Hadley taps him out second round. So in this one, I have Jake Hadley via second round submission.